Operation Phantom Sight is coming to Rainbow Six Siege. The Phantom in this title is Nook, an attacker who uses her gadget to muffle her footsteps, keep herself out of the spotlight, and creep everyone right out. The Sight is Warden a sharp-dressed defender whose glasses allow him to resist or recover from flashes and to see more clearly when things get smoky. We'll give you the details on these two new operators and show you around the newly renovated Café Dostoevsky. No reservation necessary. First, let's meet the guy in the tie, Warden. Fresh off a stint with the United States Secret Service, Warden is a dapper defender who accessorizes with his glance, smart glasses, and a snazzy statement watch. When things start popping off, Warden can switch his glasses on to accomplish all of the following. Number one, make himself immune to flashes. Number two, remove any flash he is currently affected by. Number three, give him clearer sight through smoke and number four, add some high-tech panache to his I just killed you screen. You can manually deactivate the glasses or wait until they run out of juice and need to recharge. Either way, there is a fixed cooldown before you can activate them again, but there's no limit to how many times you can use them in a match. With his glasses active, Warden is a strong counter against any smoke and flash party that the attackers try to throw. If Blitz gets frisky or Ying lights up a whole mess of candelas, Warden will be having none of it. Even Glaz will have to think twice about setting up behind his precious smoke screen, though he still has an edge on Warden with his bigger scope and thermal detection. Note that the smoke filtering feature on Warden's glasses is less effective if he's moving, so picking smart angles and repositioning quickly are vital to making the most of his gadget. And while his glasses are active, you'll need to watch out for the gadget disabling and gadget detecting powers of Thatcher and IQ. But as a high armor, low speed operator wielding either an MPX submachine gun or an M590A1 shotgun, Warden makes for a strong anchor. And he looks good doing it. Hailing from a different quadrant of the fashion galaxy, we have Nook. This attacker from Denmark's Jaeger Corps may have an eye-catchingly eerie getup, but she would actually prefer it if you didn't notice her. At all. So, when her Hell Presence Reduction gadget is active, you won't hear her footsteps, and you won't see any sign of her on camera feeds. It's a little spooky. And with all the different potential camera feeds available to defenders these days, Nook's ability to hide from them all is all the more alarming. Her gadget runs off a recharging meter, like Warden's glasses, but unlike Warden's glasses, there's no required cooldown, so Nook can turn her gadget on and off and on again whenever she has the juice to run it, giving her more tactical flexibility. And activating her gadget doesn't require her to change weapons, so she can continue wielding her primary, an FMG-9 submachine gun or 612SD shotgun, or her secondary, a 5.7 USG pistol or a D50 pistol with an equipable suppressor. This makes Nook a formidable flanking and fragging threat, though, like any operator, she has her limitations. Nook's gadget will glitch and be visible on camera feeds if she performs basically any action except moving at a normal speed or slower, crouching and moving, or reloading or swapping weapons. You can also keep an eye out for environmental clues, like breach debris moving of its own accord. Or you could take a more proactive approach and throw down some barbed wire. Nook will glitch while passing through it. If you really want to make things tricky for Nook, take Lesion and his goo mines. She'll glitch when she steps on one, glitch every time she takes damage, and glitch while she pulls out the needle. Aside from the glitch, the only other camera interference that will let you know Nook is nearby is this waveform effect that appears when using Mozzie's hacked drones, or Echo's yokai. Every other camera will have a hard time seeing and your ears will have a hard time hearing this medium-speed, medium-armor attacker. 
team Nook up with a roamer hunting operator, or take her on a sneaky flanking route, and you've got a powerful new way to unsettle the defending team. The map you've been seeing here may look familiar. It's Café Dostoevsky, or Café to its friends. The Siege team has renovated this lovely three-story gathering spot, creating new bomb sites, making old sites more viable, and generally sprucing things up for more balanced encounters. For example, enter through the new reception area and you'll find a stairwell has moved, opening up new possibilities for opening up the reading room. The kitchen area has been extensively remodeled and given a festive touch, and there's even been some light roof work. The shiny new cafe map will replace the old cafe map for free when Operation Phantom Sight launches. The two new operators, Warden and Nook, will be available at launch for Year 4 Pass owners, and unlockable for all players seven days later by using Renown or R6 credits. For more on Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.